Yeah, I just need the address is all I need and we'll pipe it in the GPS and we'll go from there. to what it's all down in there. If it's worth it, we'll all just pile in the van and it's 10 bucks to the van down there. Just leave your car parked here. But I don't know what's down there. One as well. Yeah. we back all the way back to Springfield. No, we don't. Yes, we did. No, you don't. I'll program, you watch, I'll program in the GPS and you'll get, because this was halfway between, there was another road, I forgot what it was, you looked on the map, remember? It was like, uh, I forget now, but something cuts down, hits it. I'll show you. Oh, I'll show you. Because that's the reason we come into that, I saw that other road that went down. No, the museum was over there. It went by that, that's the first one I said. This is the visitor center. What's all down on the battlefield? Okay. Here in the visitor center, we have exhibits on both ends of the building. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, ranger down doing talks about artillery in the Civil War down the multi purpose room today. And the film will be starting again at 3.15. The tour itself is a five mile, so I've got a driving loop. There's eight different waysides where you can pull over and read signs about how that location. And uh, we have eight different, or uh, there's different hiking trails at each of those stops and signs that you can read. And at stop two, we have the Ray House. It's an original farmhouse from the day of the battle. It was used as a Confederate field hospital. And also where General Lyon's body was taken after he was killed. It's a picture of General Lyon here. He's the first Union general killed in the Civil War, as this was the second major battle of the war. Okay. There you go, sir. And unless someone in the car has a national parks pass, it'd be ten dollars to drive down. Okay. Howdy, Terry. How's it going? Pretty good. You sent my friend to the hotel today. It's a five mile trail down through there. And we got the houses and stuff. Okay. Okay. It's a, it's a, um, okay. I was drinking water. You drink water. Yeah. yeah. Indiana folks. 
told him he needs to stay in contact with you, and, yeah. and because he's in, from Hammond and, um, and very interesting. Far away from South Bend, so. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. wow. You're yeah. from Columbus. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I was raised in Pollard near Lafayette. You're the whole Oklahoma. Did anyone get lost coming here? No, no we're right down the road here. <laughs> we're away. It took me nine hours to get here. We're like ten minutes away. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Hammond is dangerous. <laughs> I hate him. Well, you get all those little maps with the colored routes. And mm -hmm. <laughs> it helps if you don't have to sit in traffic if you can route around and figure your way around. Yeah, we find everything fun is we got to the downtown Yes, we finally got lights up on our signs, and so that helps. And plus, when we've got you know 50 people gathered out here on the corner, yeah. that helps. Uh, so we, our first two seasons, we left from down at the kiosk down at the landing at the shopping area. We had just a little kiosk. And then last November 1st, we moved the operation up here on this corner, which I'm so grateful for. Especially when you don't have uh, to stand out in the heat or the freezing cold or the rain. And we actually have a home base. Excuse me? Where is the cemetery? The cemetery is about... Um, one and a half blocks over towards that direction, and that's where we will end up tonight. So we're going to, I'm going to weave you in and through the old part of our downtown Branson and uh, the stories that go with it. And, um, I've lived in town here most of my life, and uh, I've been a tour guide for 30 years, so I love the area history, and I've always loved the paranormal and the metaphysical, so this was, job was just right up my these folks that we find that um, one out of four people have a story to share. You know, you can either live in a house that seemed to have a life of its own or um, maybe an elder passed and came and visited you on their way through or um, there's so many or work somewhere that um, this gentleman's a paramedic and uh, has had experiences. So it's, uh, I love hearing your stories too. So tonight after the tour, if you'd like to share any tour uh, of your stories or between stops is a good time to uh, do that or compare pictures during between stops. I already told you my story. Yes. I was in a house and, yeah. Oh. I've had a ghost cat. <laughs> <laughs> I felt my kitty jump on the bed after she passed. I, it was very, it was a very distinct feel. That I, felt that. I thought I had spirits in my house one night because I lived in an old uh, house north of town by myself, and I don't know how much acreage. And um, I was, and I pay attention to what the little ones look at and what the animals look at. And I had a little wolf dog that was. I saw him going, and I thought, oh, he's seeing something. <laughs> and, and then my cats started doing it. And uh, um, and so I got up, and I and I and finally they were all staring at a spot on the wall, and I went over to that spot, and it was a, it was a bat <laughs> that had gotten <laughs> in. And he, he was just flying so fast that I couldn't see him, but the animals could. No spirit bats, it was a real bat. That was fun. Like once in my old house, like I told you, there's two nuns and then they died there. But then I see it. Um, when we moved in, the I love ghost watch, the ghost uh, hunters, but 